and the band's now been on the road for like a month and we've been getting you know coins and bags of piss and and soccer turf like because they lay plywood down in these soccer stadiums because the, the soccer pitch is not something yeah. that they want to have fucked up definitely that, not. that's got to be like a million euros worth of manicured grass a hundred percent we get to this gig in Italy, man, and these kids are losing their minds, and they've torn the plywood up, and this oh. this lovely pitch is just is just airborne. So we're backstage, and by this point, the dream is worn off, and I'm just like, here comes here comes another forty minutes of dodging missiles and piss. It was and that turf. bad. Yeah, I mean, it was it was it was just like, let's get this done and go to the disco. You know, like this oh. sucks. So there was a record company girl backstage I, I don't know who it was some just kind of random girl and she had a plaid miniskirt on and I was wearing leather pants and I remember we were we were fueled pretty seriously by a, uh, I remember large cans of Sapporo with vodka pour, poured Ooh, in nice that was Billy Duffy's <laughs> idea he, he, he got sober after that tour Jesus like, Christ things got, things got dude pretty, pretty nuts then. Sapporo with ooh. You would take a couple sips and pour the vodka in. Dude, that's crazy. But I mean, I, I mean, you're young. I mean, to Billy's credit, it's like, dude, if he had to do that to her sober, I, I couldn't even imagine just yeah. the, the amount of projectiles and stuff. So, My so long story short, we're just back there drinking, and I see the mini skirt, and I was like, "Can I borrow your mini skirt?" And she was like, "Okay." She goes, "Well, you know, I'm not going to run around with no skirt." I said, "You can wear my leather pants, and I'll wear your mini skirt." So I'm wearing the miniskirt, and I, I know I remember I'm wearing uh, a pair of Santa Rosa motorcycle boots, which is what the Clash wore, and I don't, you know, maybe a leather jacket or something. So I'm rolling around in the miniskirt, and Ian, Ian kind of notices this, and just before we go on, I look at Ian, and I'm, I'm kind of realizing, like, do I want to go on stage in, like, a Catholic schoolgirl miniskirt in front of these, like, fr- you know, frothing at the mouth yes. Italian metal guys and I said Ian if I change back into the leather pants I'm going to lose face big aren't I and he goes big time and I said okay it's it's on you did it so so we walk out on stage <laughs> and the cult's manager is side stage and he's kind of like and he just is like what what has happened like what who's this this kid we got in the band what, what is this <laughs> So we walk on stage, and I think we opened with Sanctuary. Oh, my God. Because we, we used to open with a song called New York City, which was a pretty rockin' song, and then it turned into, like, why pander to these people? Nah, Let's just be, our, it. be yes. ourselves. Yeah, fuck that. You know, like, that really is just come come out and be a reggae band. Do do your thing. Don't, Absolutely. Because you're not going to out Metallica. No. Metallica. So just be the cult. So we open up with a ding, 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 and they see me in this outfit, and they hear that, and they just lose their fucking minds and just bottles, turf, you know, anything that was nailed down just came flying on stage. Oh, my and God. And I remember I was just kind of... <laughs> oh, my God. It was like Sid, Sid Vicious in, in Texas. And, you know, bring it on. Yeah. And I just... I was like, bring it on. And within, like, two songs, like, I think... Like, they were enraged at, 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 this, at what they were seeing. And I want to say in the first or second song... Ian, I went over to Ian and was playing my guitar, and he gets on his knees and does the Bowie Ronson, that thing. No way. Totally. So what'd they do? They, we so freaked them out that by the third song, they were like, yes. No way. We, you turned we, we them. We turned them. I mean, I don't know if they were all, you know, closeted homosexuals. Yeah. I don't, but... We turned him, and the manager now was like, he didn't know, oh he didn't know what to make of this. <laughs> no, it's just, I mean, that's fucking punk rock, though, and I think they got that, right? Totally. So so I want to say, wherever, the show, so fucking wherever the show was, we finished in Milan. Okay. Like, that night, we, we, we drove an hour to Milan. So so the girl still has my pants, and she's like, can I ride with you guys back to Milan? And th- these were these were really were the rock and roll days where people didn't know just got on the bus, and wow. you'd go to the next town. So I remember we got to Milan, um, we went to the big model disco in Milan. I'm pretty sure I smoked a cigarette. I think I probably tumbled down the stairs into the disco, but of course, 
not an injury, and then just showed <laughs> up and danced with models in a miniskirt and smoked and smoked cigarettes. <laughs>